Hi, it's Mrs. Blair here, and today we're going to make some bread. So in your bag, you should have something that looks like this, which is your bread kit. Inside here, you have some flour, a tiny bit of sugar and salt, and some yeast. The other things you're going to need are some oil and some warm water. Okay, so I have my bowl ready and, and a spoon to stir. So the first thing I'm going to do is take your bread kit and just pour that into your bowl. Okay, make sure everything gets out of it. Alright, so you just have your flour and your yeast and salt and sugar in the bowl. So the second thing is, when you have your water, it needs to be warm water. And I just put mine in the microwave for about 30 seconds to warm it up. So I'm going to pour that right onto the flour. Okay, there we go. Now it looks like that. And then we're going to put in a little tiny bit of oil. So it's one and a half teaspoons. I'm going to measure that. That's one. And here's a little half. Okay, pour that in. All right. And now you're just going to stir it up to make some batter, some dough. When you start stirring it, it'll start sticking together a little bit, and it might be a little bit too wet or too dry. Mine looks pretty good, actually. It's starting to stick together. It's starting to look like this now. Okay, and then what you might want to do to make sure all the little pieces get together is use your hands. All right, so I'm just going to get that off the spoon and then I'm going to take my hands and sort of mush it together even more. Okay, this looks a little bit sticky. If it's a little bit sticky, you can add some more flour to it, but I think this is pretty good. All right, so now I just have it in the bowl just like that. All right, I have a paper towel. I'm going to just wipe my hand off a little bit. And now it's time for you to let the dough rest for a little bit. So what you should do next is get more of that dough off. Get a little piece of plastic, okay, like this. All right, and just put that on top of your bowl. Okay, and then to get the yeast to start working, you're going to keep it warm. So you're going to put a towel on top of the plastic. So you're like you're putting a little blanket on there. Okay, so you're going to do that. And now you just have to wait a little bit. So you're going to let it sit there for about 15 minutes and then check on it. And if it looks like it's starting to puff up, then you're going to start punching it. Okay. It's going to make air bubbles from the yeast and you're going to punch it to get the air bubbles out and then it keeps making more air bubbles to make your bread puffy and delicious. So I'll be back to show you about the punching in a little bit. Okay, see you soon. Hi, I'm back. I wanted to show you what happened to my dough since we were gone. So if you look at the top of this bowl, you can see that there's a little bit of condensation there because it's warm in there. So I'm going to take off the plastic and show you the dough. Okay, so it looks a little bit different. It's puffing up a little bit. So now what we need to do is punch it down. So if you don't want to get your hands dirty, you can just take your plastic and put it right on top of the dough. So I'm going to put it inside there just like that, and then I can just punch it without having to get my hands very dirty. So I'm going to take my fist, and I'm just going to give a few punches. All right, now you can see it. it's smashed down to the bottom of the bowl. All right, and that's it. And then you're going to 
Cover it back up with your towel and you're going to let it rest again. So what you should do is punch it down about four or five times in 10 minute um, increments. So every five or, or every 10 or 15 minutes, you should take your fist and punch the air bubbles out. And that just helps that it get more air bubbles to puff up your bread. So after I'm ready to put it in the oven, I'll come back and show you what I have. All right, have fun punching. Hi, I'm back again. So I've punched down my dough about four or five times now. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's filling up the bowl pretty well and it's a little puffy. So now I'm gonna get ready to make it into a loaf and put it in the oven. So before I touch it, make sure you have clean hands and you can go ahead and turn on your oven so that can get warmed up while you're making your loaf. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of the plastic I don't need that anymore. And I am going to put some flour on my table so that the dough isn't going to stick. And also, it helps to put a little flour on your hands if you don't want your dough sticking to your hands. So now I'm getting ready. I'm going to get this out of the bowl. I'm going to put it right onto the table where I have the flour. Okay, so now it's on my table. I'm gonna to try to turn my camera for you a little bit. Let's see if I can make it down a little bit. Okay, so you can see it a little bit. And you're gonna start rolling this around a little bit. This feels nice and soft. Okay, so if, when you have flour on there, it won't stick to your hands anymore. So now what you need to do is just shape your dough into a little loaf of bread. If you want to, you can make it um, into a shape that you like. like. You could do the letter for your name or you could make, I don't know, make it look like something. Anyway, I'm just making mine into an oval and I'm going to put it on my tray here. I just put a piece of parchment paper so it won't stick. And just sort of pat it into the shape that you like. So there's mine. And this part is optional, but if you want to, you could get a little bit of melted butter. I got some melted butter here. And you can brush that on the top right on top of your bread loaf. And all that does is it makes it look prettier when it comes out of the oven. It looks a little bit more brown. But if you don't have any melted butter, that's okay. Just when you're eating your bread, you can put extra butter on then. <laughs> all right, so now it is ready. Ready to go in the oven and I will cook my bread and you cook your bread and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, bye. Well, the bread's out of the oven and here's what it looks like. It's not very dark, but if you look on the bottom, it's a little bit brown on the bottom and it makes a little tapping noise if you tap it. So that means it's done. So I'm gonna cut my bread and take a bite. I hope yours turned out. Here's what it looks like on the inside, and you can see the air holes there. That's what the yeast does. It makes the air holes into your bread to make it fluffy. So I'm going to cut a small little piece here. And I'm going to put butter on it. Even though we put butter on top, we still want butter on the bread. <laughs> so I'll put some butter on my bread. And I hope, since we're missing you this year at our sharing feast at Faith Lutheran, that you can make some bread and share it with your family. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs>